Mick Schumacher's Formula One career has been far from perfect, as he quickly became notoriously known for his frequent shunts with the barriers, together with his alarming inability to score a single point during his 28-race stint. Schumacher's future in the sport was in severe doubts ever since Kevin Magnussen convincingly outperformed him during the opening rounds of 2022. But the question marks over Mick retaining his seat direly intensified following his yet another heavy crash in Monaco, splitting the car in half as he ran outside the racing line on a rain-soaked surface. Schumacher's abundance of heavy shunts this season resulted in the Haas team being met with a chunky bill to pay, racking up over $3 million in damages just during the first seven rounds in 2022, something Gunter Steiner is vividly enraged with, as the team is currently facing acute budget issues. So is Mick Schumacher really getting sacked by Haas? And what does Gunter Steiner really make of the situation? That's exactly what we'll be covering in today's video. Steiner had very few words to spare after Schumacher sent the accounting department yet another million-dollar bill last time out in Monaco, splitting the car in half. It's not very satisfactory having a big crash again, he quickly answered. We need to see how we move forward from here, Steiner suggested when asked about Mick's crashing spree before he directly brought his driver's future into question. You don't have forever in Formula One. There is a queue of drivers who want to drive in your place. I am sure that Mick is aware that no one will wait for him, he noted bluntly, before being questioned whether he's seeing improvements in Schumacher's form compared to last season, to which he answered, I wouldn't say that Mick has made a big step over the winter. It would have been nice if Mick's button had been flipped. Unfortunately, he hasn't hit that hurdle yet, he continued, increasingly critical of his second driver. The points have to come at some point. Kevin has already scored points. He has shown the way. We have to face this situation, he concluded, putting even more pressure on the 23-year-old. But Schumacher's pointless streak is the least of Steiner's concerns at the moment, as he would simply prefer for Mick to keep his Haas out of the wall in the upcoming races. Gunter has been tremendously outspoken about Haas's financial gremlins, with the team yet to upgrade their car due to budget issues. With all teams already having introduced multiple upgrade packages of their own, Haas remained the only constructor to keep on running their first specification, with an updated package only planned for the French Grand Prix. When asked whether the budget cap was stopping Haas from developing their car further, Steiner quickly clarified what the real issue was. It's the budget, he answered bluntly. It's not the budget cap, it's the budget. So, with Haas facing severe financial issues and Schumacher still yet to find an answer to his frequent shunts, many started suggesting the German is likely to get dropped by Haas, who would rather sign a more reliable and promising driver to help them bear the increased competition in the already tight midfield battle. So, will Schumacher get dismissed completely, or will he instead be off to a rival team for 2023? All signs are currently pointing the way of a Schumacher-Haas exit at the end of the season. According to a well-respected F1 journalist, Joe Soward, Schumacher's crashes are wearing thin for Haas, and there is talk that it would probably like a different driver next year, although Ferrari does have a say in the matter, Soward stated in his latest blog edition, referring to the strong Ferrari influence over the Haas lineup. Haas is believed to be receiving largely discounted power units from their engine suppliers Ferrari if one of their drivers is an active member of the Ferrari Driver Academy. This allows for Ferrari to almost have a junior team, in which young and promising stars can prove themselves before they're ready for a full-time seat with the works team. But if Haas indeed want to exercise the benefits of having a Ferrari cadet behind the wheel and would like to drop Schumacher, the team's option list could be rather short for their liking. Ferrari currently have zero academy drivers in Formula 2, with the only possible option being the works team's test driver, Robert Schwartzman, or allowing for Leclerc's younger brother, Arthur, to make the leap from F3, where he hasn't necessarily dominated the field like his brother, to say the least. So if Haas are adamant to keep on receiving their full benefits from the Ferrari partnership and aren't willing to cut their ties similarly to Alfa Romeo, Schumacher would by far seem like the perfect candidate, given he already would have amassed two years of driving experience at the highest echelon of motorsport. But if Schumacher's crashes don't come to an end soon and his pointless streak continues, 
Haas could really come to the conclusion that it would make more sense to get an external driver on board rather than firmly sticking to the Ferrari Juniors as the added power unit costs would easily get covered by the additional prize money the team could get with both drivers firing on all cylinders in the midfield, combined with lower repair bills. But Schumacher isn't letting go of his F1 aspirations as he would dearly love to find a new home within the paddock if Haas sacks him. Recent reports suggest that Schumacher's management is in talks with Aston Martin, given Sebastian Vettel, a dear friend and Mick's fellow German, is expected to hang his racing boots at the end of the year given the uncompetitive state of the team. The rumor in Monaco, Saward wrote, is that Mick's people are now looking at other options for the future and that Aston Martin might be a good choice for him because he's German, younger and less hairy than Sebastian Vettel, and he is not too fast for Lance. But Aston Martin's boss, Mike Crack, wasn't so fond of the suggestions, insisting the team's number one priority is to convince Sebastian Vettel to keep on racing, despite the car's uncompetitive nature. When you have someone like Sebastian, you have to try to keep him. It's a mixture of extreme driving quality, experience, and a very positive person who helps us progress, Crack stated. But he also acknowledged that Aston Martin are indeed keeping an eye on Schumacher. So, with Haas seemingly interested in changing their lineup on Schumacher's front, Aston Martin fully committed to retaining Vettel, the chances of a full Mick Schumacher sack are ever increasing. Schumacher undoubtedly has an immense chip on his shoulder, simply given his surname, something a multiple rally world champion Walter Rohrl, a German motorsport icon, now opened up about, as he warned Schumacher of the brutal and cold nature of Formula One. He simply has far too many accidents at the moment, all of which cost a lot, a lot of money. If nothing comes, they won't keep going indefinitely. Formula One is brutal and cold, the 75-year-old stated, before making a comparison to Mick's father, whose career he vividly remembers. There's the expectation that he has to be the big star. It's hard and heavy. It looks like he doesn't have the outstanding talent that his father had. He drove at the front straight away, whereas in the meantime, of course, times have changed and cars are becoming more and more important, and people less and less important," the German concluded. So with all suggestions pointing the way of a Haas-Schumacher split, who could really be the team's next superstar if they decide not to pursue the limited route of the Ferrari Driver Academy? The list of names seems to be endless, but there are a few options who simply seem more likely. Felipe Drugovic is absolutely bossing Formula 2 at the moment. Oscar Piastri could still be left on the sidelines if Alonso extends his Alpine deal, a man with an equally impressive CV as current superstars Leclerc or Russell, who surely is in consideration. And opportunities to get an American driver into the sport, which would prove a great marketing move for the budget-lacking Haas team, are almost endless with IndyCar stars like Colton Herta also patiently waiting for an F1 drive. Schumacher's future is fully dependent on how quickly he's able to get into grips with the Haas car. If he suddenly starts outperforming Magnussen and finds a way to minimize his tangles with the barriers, he could end up being the best option for Haas, especially given the added benefit of his Ferrari links. But we want to know what you guys think. Do you think Haas will keep Schumacher for another year? Is he going to a different team or is he about to get sacked from the sport fully? And do you think he's living up to the expectations? let us know in the comment section down below. We've recently started a second channel called Front Row Lockout, where our sole aim is to keep you in pole position with all the latest stories from the F1 paddock with sub three minute long and value packed videos. We would dearly appreciate your support. Plus, there's an ongoing giveaway for all subscribers of the new channel, which you surely don't want to miss as you can win prizes such as your favorite team's merch and much more.